हेलो फ्रेंड्स सो टुडे वी आर सॉल्विंग दिस प्रॉब्लम सम ऑफ के नंबर्स के मिरर नंबर्स सो ए के मिरर नंबर इज अ पॉजिटिव इंटीजर विदाउट लीडिंग जीरोस दैट रीड्स द सेम बॉथ फॉरवर्ड एंड बैकवर्ड इन बेस 10 एज वेल एज इन बेस के यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड लाइक दिस सो फॉर एग्जांपल दिस इज दिस एन वुड बी द बेस 10 नंबर एंड दिस के वुड बी एनी एनी बेस नंबर लेट्स से फॉर बाइनरी नंबर्स लेट्स से वी वी वांट टू चेक सो एन इज डेसिमल सो व्हाट इज लेट्स से स्टार्ट विद 1 okay so uh, one is the decimal number how do we represent one in the uh, in binary in binary we represent uh, with this like like one only uh, how do we represent two so we represent the two like this one zero how do we represent three so three in decimal like this and uh, here we represent like this how about four so four we represent like this one zero zero how about five so five we represent like this uh, one zero one right so if we check here who all are palindrome see this is palindrome here as well as here so this is a one is a two mirror uh, number right because base is two here similarly we check two uh, is two is a k mirror number i mean the two mirror number no this is not is three yes because three is palindrome as well as this guy is also palindrome so three is also a k mirror number where k equal to two is four no four is palindrome in decimal but here it is not palindrome five yes it is a k mirror number because this is palindrome and this also palindrome so this is what we mean to say k mirror numbers here say here one three and five these are the k mirror numbers so let's read the question further so what is happening is uh, they are uh, so for example nine is a two mirror number similarly like nine also uh, k mirror number okay so uh, what we are given given the base k so we are given in the question base k and the number n so we have to return the sum of the n smallest k mirror numbers okay for example let's say uh, in our case let's say n was given uh, 3 okay so for example n was given 3 and k was given as 2 that means for the base of 2 we have to find first 3k numbers i mean first uh, 3n numbers who are the k mirror right so in this case what would happen if n equal to 3 so we would pick that first is the 1 so we would take 1 then will we take 2 no then we will take 3 so 1 plus 3 plus 4 is not uh, k mirror number 5 is k mirror number right so we found 1 plus 3 plus 5 okay so 9 should be the answer in this case so this is what we have to do so uh, we are given the n that how many numbers so uh, we have to find and then k this is the base on which base so these many smallest number which are starting for for the base 10 and the base k given in the question and then that many numbers we have to get the sum of them this is what we have to do and one simple solution comes to mind is like we start from very first first of all we check whether whether this is a uh, palindrome number in base 10 and then we will check whether it is a palindrome number in base k as well this is this is very uh, natural thought this comes for the everyone's mind right what you think about a case that if we have very huge number right then we have to check each and every one right then this would be a kind time kind of uh, uh, time complexity would be very high and it would not be accepted in the lead code as well so for example if let's say n is given very high let's say 10 to the power 8 then what we will do is we will uh, we will check each and every number starting from one that if it is a, a palindrome right and then we will check that is it a palindrome in the base k as well so then it would be like too much of brute force so can we have some uh, some technique so that we can skip these many comparisons these many uh, executions so the idea here is like uh, uh, for any number okay for any number let's say we, we let's say take 1 2 so for any number we can make the palindrome either of uh, even length or odd length so how would be even length even length means 1 2 and just reverse and append it so like 1 2 and 2 1 right so every time we are appending the reverse of it so this would always a even number right but uh, similarly we can also generate the odd number also for uh, for any number right so in that case what will happen 
we skip this guy first of all we we add the same number as it is like this one two and the very first guy here like in this case two we skip this and append the uh, remaining word okay so it would be like one two one so this is the odd number similarly let's say one more example uh, suppose we are taking one two three okay so one two three so what would the odd even number is very simple like one two three and three two one right so this would be our uh, <coughs> one two three and three two one this would be our even length now to get the odd length what we have to do is we have to skip this guy so first we will write as it is one two three okay and then what we will do is whatever is remaining reverse of that so we will write two and one so this is odd length and both of them are uh, palindrome so once we do this we are doing for this number right the one which in the decimal yet so for this decimal once we are done that we are sure that these numbers are palindrome now we have to check whether these guys are also palindrome at the base k the given in the question so for base k also we have to check so in this way what we are doing is we are starting from one and we are checking uh, for the even and odd generated uh, uh, values okay now uh, we would be keep on going till we are getting the count equal to n okay so in this way what we will happen whenever we are getting a past palindrome which is palindrome in the e decimal as well as in the k base we would be keep on adding that uh, into the, our answer variable and keep on increasing the count so this is our approach now in this way what we are doing is we are going kind of a binary search paradigm you can see like we from two digit we directly came to the double digit and double digit minus one way so we are skipping a lot of things here not going one by one for each and every number who are not palindrome and still we are gonna check so we are skipping that part here so let's understand how do we generate the even length out of let's say n is 123 and how do we generate the uh, even length one okay so first of all what we will do is whatever number we have we will keep it as it is okay n equal to 1 2 3 let's say we have a variable called x okay so we'll keep it x equal to 123 okay now what we will do is uh, we would be uh, uh, keep this value and uh, we will uh, make the uh, remainder of it okay so let's say n remainder of uh, uh, 123 okay n remainder 10 right so 123 remainder 10 what it would be giving me so it would be giving me 123 remainder 10 would be giving me 3 right so we will take this 3 so i would be getting this 3 right and whatever x i have i would be making x equal to uh, x into 10 okay x into 10 plus this three the remainder right so how it would be looking like it would be looking like one two three three right it would be like one two three three and what i would do is then i would be update this n okay so this n would be become what n is equal to n divided by 10 right so in this case what will happen we will keep on doing this so uh, next time what happened 123 divided by 10 it would become 12 right then we will go till the time it is uh, greater than zero so again we will keep on going and doing this way right so i'll show you this in my code so this is for the even length which is simple similarly simple for odd length as well the only thing is what we're gonna do here is first of all this is 123 we have parked in x and this 123 what we will do is 123 divided by 10 we will do 123 divided by 10 so it would become 12 right so in this case what we are doing we have skipped this last guy okay and same thing we will do the one which we are doing here similarly we will keep on remembering so let me show you in my code that how do we do that so uh, see here so let's say we have two types of operations right operation uh, zero for uh, uh, this thing uh, uh, odd length and uh, operation one for the even length so let's say we are starting from here k mirror from. so first of all i am uh, creating a variable start equal to one because not only we are generating the uh, 
this palindrome numbers but also from small s till the greater one okay that then only it makes sense so uh, here i have created one count variable starting from zero and this is our answer variable i have taken long because value could be very high now see here while count is less than n so see here we are taking operation equal to zero less than two so zero and one two types of operations for zero i am saying it would be for the odd lengths okay and for one i am taking for the even length okay so we have two types right even length and odd length so odd would be anchoring for zero operation type even would be anchoring for uh, uh, one operation type so this is what i am doing here so see here so we are starting so you can see in this for loop it will take zero and one only two values right so see here i am starting from i equal to start and i less than starting to 10 so what we are doing is first starting from 1 till 10 and then from every uh, number we are uh, trying to generate the even and odd length uh, palindromes okay so see here initially i have created one variable long combined equal to whatever the i value now see now we are checking that whether if operation equal to 0 then we are doing i by 10 because we are gonna check for the um, odd length or if operation is not equal to 0 that means operation is i that means we are doing for the even length so in this case what we are doing so uh, here if it is operation equal to 0 means for odd length we are dividing i equal to i divided by 10 just we were doing here right for 123 we divide by 10 because we what we need in case of odd length 1 2 3 and we have to skip this number so that 1 2 we will get so that is why what we are doing that is why we are dividing it num this number after 1 2 3 we are dividing so that we will skip this guy and we will get 12 here so 3 is skipped we got 12 so for that reason we are doing this okay now what we are doing in the x we are get getting the value accordingly if it is 0 then i by 10 otherwise as it is so while x is greater than 0 we are making combined equal to combined into 10 plus x percent 10 okay similarly what i explained here so x you can consider this is our combined so first we parked 123 and then we got the number this number uh, n percent 10 so that we will get the this uh, this guy okay so 123 percent 10 we will get this guy and then we are adding this so similar way we are doing here combined equal to combined into 10 and x percent 10 so whatever would be the last value that would be added now and then we are dividing it so so that we can take the further remainder stuff till the time x is greater than 0 once we are coming out of it this combined would have the value now what we will do is we have got a uh, this combined would be anyway would be a either an even length or odd length but it would be a palindrome number now so for decimal we have already got this combined number as a palindrome now we have to check this palindrome with the base k as well okay so that is why we have written another method called called is palindrome which will check if the given number is a palindrome number for the base k okay so let uh, let me show you this is my palindrome method is palindrome method so this is our long x and k is the base whatever base we gonna pass here so see here i have given one int j equal to minus one why minus one because we are making the uh, pre operator pre plus plus right so so that we will be stop at the last location okay so see here what we are doing i have written one uh, variable park digit this 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 is an integer uh, array where we can park our digit so uh, we, this is the method that i have written is, is palindrome which would be basically check the whether this number x is palindrome on the base k or not so we have created one uh, integer array park digit so in, we will use this part digit too. so initially i have started j equal to minus one why because i am starting with the plus plus j pre operator increment why because so that at last location it would be having the exact value okay so see here part digit j equal to whatever x percent k okay so that we will get the last uh, uh, digit of that number into this location very first location and then we are dividing x equal to x divided by k okay so in this case what happening 
फ्रॉम द एंड ऑफ द डिजिट्स वी आर पार्किंग इन द फर्स्ट वैल्यूज राइट लाइक वन ट्वेंटी थ्री देन फर्स्ट वुड बी थ्री देन टू देन वन सो दैट इज वाई वी आर टेकिंग फर्स्ट रिमाइंडर एंड देन डिवाइडिंग इट राइट एंड वी आर पिकिंग दीज वैल्यूज पार्किंग इन टू दिस पार्क डिजिट अरे नाउ आफ्टर पार्किंग दिस इन टू द पार्क डिजिट अरे देन वी हैव टू चेक ओके सो डेट्स ए वी हैव एन टीजर आई इक्वल टू जीरो एंड जे इज ऑलरेडी अप टू द लेंथ ऑफ दिस नंबर ओके सो सी हेयर इट वुड बी समथिंग लाइक लेट्स ए लेट्स ए वन ट्वेंटी थ्री देन इट वुड बी लाइक फॉर वन ट्वेंटी थ्री दिस पार्क डिजिट वुड बी लुकिंग लाइक थ्री वुड बी एट फर्स्ट लोकेशन टू वुड बी हेयर एंड वन वुड बी हेयर राइट एंड अवर जे वुड बी हेयर बाई दैट टाइम अवर जे वुड बी टू राइट सो our j is already at the last location and then if we compare from here then that then it would be like a, a palindrome so see here now what we are doing we are, i is starting from 0 and j is already at the end so we will check that if park digit i is not equal to park digit j that means they are not same so we have to return false like in case of 123 at at the start it is 3 but at end it is 1 so that means this is not a palindromic number so whenever we found this condition that i and j are not same we are returning immediately false otherwise we are keep on i increasing and decreasing j and once we are coming out of this loop that means this is so palindromic number so we are returning true so this method we are checking here once we got the combined run, uh, combined value we are checking that hey is this guy is also a palindrome with the k base if it is then we are increasing the count and we are keep on adding the value into the answer variable okay now you can see one more thing here once we are coming out of this loop okay we will start we will make this start equal to start into 10 so that we will take the next 10 set of the values and we'll try to find who are the palindromic at both the k base and the base 10 so finally once we are our counter becomes equal to n we would be returning our answer okay so that is why we are returning here answer so let me execute my code so i am running my code which i have already submitted but i am submitting again for the sake of video so yes it is 91.07 faster so thank you for watching this video and if you guys have any concern please make a comment over there